the magic oh. and uh, the sports. Carl? Thanks a lot, John. Uh, the basketball was played here tonight. And ironically enough, the Knicks played a team from Orlando called the Magic. And before tonight's game, Pat Riley led the teams, both teams, in a prayer for Magic Johnson. We're going to roll the tape and take a look at that. It was an emotional time for Riley and all of his players, and actually an emotional time for everyone. And I mean sports fans and uh, NBA players all the way across the board. Hey, the main thing about, you know, uh, our Magic is that he's a winner. And uh, I think all guys, you know, they try to emulate him, try to be like him. All the little kids on the playgrounds, you know, I go back home and I'm in my hometown. I go back to my old neighborhood. They always talk about it. You know, he's a guy that everybody loves. I know he's not dead, but it's kind of like somewhat of a death of a brother, a death in a family. It's really a tragedy. I mean, the guy is not only a... Uh... Guy's not only been such a great player, but he's been such a great ambassador for the game and everything else. You know, it just uh, my heart goes out to him. I think all you can do now is just uh, you know pray that he handles everything in the best way they can. When I saw him, he was uh, he tried to be as positive as he could, and he smiled, and, you know, which is his usual response to everything. Yes. I would imagine this would be on any of us just devastating. Has he broken down in front of you? Is he? No, he hasn't. I have. Yeah, I think we all have, Kareem. A lot of the uh, fans out here were talking about the game, and uh, they were talking about the way the Knicks played, and they played with inspiration, not only because the Orlando Magic beat them last week to start the season off, but also because of the fact that Magic Johnson and his situation caused everyone to get fired up. You saw right there John Starks with the alley slam to Xavier McDaniel. Starks led the way tonight with 30 points, a good game for the guard, and the final for the Knicks, 128 to 100 over the Orlando Magic. At the Meadowlands, a blowout, and unfortunately, the Nets were on the wrong end of it. Miami, 111-89 to over the Nets. Willie Burton had 24 points for Miami. The Nets shot a paltry 34%. Bowie had 20 points to lead the Nets, and Kenny Anderson is still not signed. Their number one draft pick still holding out. That's going to do it here from uh, the Madison Square Garden. It's been a long, long day and an emotional one. We'll have more tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on Magic Johnson and we, as we continue to track what's happened to him this afternoon. R reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Carl White, Fox News Channel 5. Thank you very much, Carl. And Fox Secrets of two superstars. She became basically what you would call a kept woman. Was Vanna White spinning out of control and Paul McCartney's millions? Paul, cheap, tight as they come. Do you want to know a secret? Because uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. Magic Johnson, always up for a challenge on the court, is now facing his biggest challenge off the court a matter of life and death. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers, maybe the best pro basketball player of all time. His life has been a triumph, and it still can be, but for the moment, he faces a personal tragedy. Magic Johnson retired from the game he loves this afternoon. His friends who love him, the kids who worship him, wept because he carries HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Scott Clark joins us now. Scott. Bill, the life of Irvin Johnson Jr. took a mighty blow yesterday when he got the news about his blood test. He has won most of the battles he has taken on in his life. But when he did lose, he paused, gathered himself up, and went on to win again another day. That is the magic of Irvin Johnson Jr. You know, sometimes you're a little naive about it, and you think it could never happen to you. Um, you only thought it could happen to, you know, other people and so on and on. And uh, it has happened, but I'm going to deal with it, and my life will go on. It is a life that began in Lansing, Michigan. That is where he was tagged Magic for his play in high school, and that is where Magic Johnson stayed to play college ball at Michigan State. He led his team to victory over Larry Bird and in Indiana State for the NCAA championship in his sophomore year. Then came the NBA draft. Magic Johnson was the top pick of 1979, and the Magic era continued. In the next 12 seasons, Johnson quarterbacked the Lakers to an astonishing nine NBA Final Series appearances. He helped bring the title trophy home five times. He was the league's most valuable player three times, a three-time playoff MVP, and of course, a consummate All-Star, gaining MVP honors in that classic in 1990. But the all-time assist leader in the NBA 
will assist no more on the professional basketball court. Now, of course, I will miss the battles and the wars, and I will miss you guys. But uh, uh, life goes on. Magic Johnson was married just two months ago. His wife, by the way, has tested negative for the HIV virus. He also planned to play for the 1992 Olympic basketball team. But now, it's a new game for Magic Johnson. You know, now my life will change, no question about it, but uh, I think I'll still be a part of the game with working with the Lakers, working with uh, the league, and as I do that, then I hopefully still own a team. Not only will Magic Johnson's life change, so will those who coached him, played with him, and played against him, those who knew him. Mark Stevens joins us live now from the Garden with that story. Mark? Scott, you know, they played a basketball game here tonight, and nobody really cared. News of Magic Johnson's illness spread throughout Madison Square Garden. People were shocked. It had a numbing effect on everyone. Magic Johnson may have played his basketball in Los Angeles, but he touched basketball people and basketball fans everywhere. You stand, please. Prior to the game, it was an emotional Pat Riley, Irvin Johnson's coach for nine seasons in L.A., that asked all those here in the Garden to join in a moment of prayer for Magic. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We do not, you know, want to eulogize him. You know, we want to now give him, you know, all the love and support and prayers and all the other people that are afflicted uh, by this insidious disease. Magic Johnson touched all those involved in the game of basketball. Reaction around the league was one of shock, but also support. That's what his former teammate, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, emphasized. I just told him I'd be here for him in any way that he needed me to be around for him. I just think it's a time for everybody else to do something for him because he's, he's done so much for, for the, probably the whole world. He means uh, uh, so much to a lot of people. Uh, he has an enthusiasm for life and the game and an openness that caused him to come here today and uh, answer questions directly. Uh, he's a very special person and uh, he's a very sad man. We've called Magic Johnson possibly the greatest basketball player ever. Out of all the athletes I've covered in professional sports, he's probably the number one gentleman ever as well. And we're live at Madison Square Garden, Mark Stevens, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The things that Magic Johnson said today came as a shock not just to the big ball players in the NBA, but to all those young kids playing pickup ball in city parks. We talked to those fans too. It shouldn't have happened to him, because not him, because he's a superstar. I was shocked. It's something that you wouldn't believe, somebody like Magic Johnson Christian is. So many kids told us that Magic Johnson is their idol, and a few told us that they know now that if he can get the virus that causes AIDS, they can too. So if there's one good thing to come out of today's awful announcement, Johnson said it himself. After years of being a hero on the court, he is ready to be heroic in the fight against AIDS, and that could have quite an impact. That story from Jim Dolan. With all the strength of a five-time world champion, Magic Johnson today vowed to turn his personal tragedy into a positive force for change. That's why I am going to be a spokesman for this HIV virus, because I want them to understand that uh, safe sex is the way to go. I think sometimes we think, well, only gay people can get it, only uh, well, it's not going to happen to me, and here I am saying that it can happen to anybody. Some say just by joining the league with his broad smile and magical skills, he may have saved the floundering National Basketball Association. And now if he sees before him as his task to educate people on the many questions surrounding AIDS, some say that may be his most formidable task yet. But there are those in a position to know who say that Magic Johnson may be the perfect person for that job. He's known to be a very uh, affable, friendly, personable, real kind of guy. Um, and, and I think that that's going to make, other, make people pay attention and listen to him when they might not uh, to, to someone else. I am going to go on, I'm going to beat it, and I'm going to have fun. Okay. Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And if Magic Johnson is a hero to your child, how do you tell your child about his illness? Our child psychologist.